Hi everyone, so after installing your x -Amp control panel, so what we need to do is to start our Apache module and also our MySQL. So for today's lesson, ang gagawin natin ay makikreate tayo ng ating database for our website. So just click the admin button at mag-open na po ang iyong local host PHP my admin. So as you can see, you have your recent database dito sa ating left side. Ayan, so napakarami nating available bottoms dito. We have our database, SQL, status, our user account, export, and more. Pero today, mag-focus tayo in creating a new database. So ayan, create na po tayo ng ating database. Ayan, so yung name ng database ko is teacher side. Then just click create. Ayan. So once na nakapag-create na kayo ng inyong database, it will ask you naman to create a table. So ayan, yung table naman na gagawin natin, let's say, ito ay, dahil may ligaw ko sa milk tea. So lagay na lang natin milk tea. Okay? Then, ilang bang column yun? So, let's say, isang column para sa ID, isa para sa flavor ng milk tea, at isa ulit para sa ingredients. Tapos, another column siguro kung kailan kinreate. Kasi, alam naman natin na sa database, kailangan laging meron tayong time stamp. Okay, so, pwede na siguro yung 4. Then, just click go. Okay, so, ito yung interface na ating table. I know all of you are already familiar with the type. So, ayan yung integer. We also have the bar card. Okay, yung mga types ng ating variables. So, mag-start na po tayo sa name. So, let's say dito, ilalagay natin is yung flavor. Ay, hindi. Magsimula muna tayo sa ID. Ayan, di ba? So, laging ID yung gagawan nyo ng unang-una. Kasi, ayan yung magiging primary key nyo. So, let's say integer. Okay na yan. So, ano pa ba yung meron tayo? We also have auto increment. Okay. Ayan. Uso ko lang. So, auto increment po. Check ko yan. So, once na naka-auto increment tapos nilagay ko dito is primary. Okay na po iyon. Alright. So, next po tayo. Punta naman tayo sa ating Ayan. So, ito na yung pangalan ng ating milk tea. Okay. So, dahil ng milk tea, di ba, lagay natin dito, ang type nito ay bar char or bar car. Kung ano man yung basa nyo dyan, <laughs> bahala kayo dyan. So, ayan. Length volume, sabihin sabihin gano'n kahaba. Usually naman is 255. Pwede na. So, what else? We also have the ingredients. Okay. So, ingredients is also bar car. Ayan. Tapos, date kung kailan, ano, kinreate. Let's say, date created. Okay. So, pag date created, ayan, timestamp. Okay. Tapos, pili tayo dito ng current timestamp. Ayan. Okay. So, once you're done, just click save dito sa ibaba. Click ng save and that's it. Meron ka na ngayong table. Okay? Ayan. So, let's say tapos mo nang magawa yung iyong bagong database. Ang kailangan mo naman gawin ngayon is mag-insert ng data. So, as you can see, database. Tapos, kinulik ko yung picture side. Ayan, kasi yung kinreate kong database. Then, pwede na tayong mag-insert. Okay? Kinulik ko lang po yung insert. Tapos, ayan, let's say now value is 1. Tapos, lagay ko dito is dark choco milk tea. So, ano yung ingredients nun? We have the black tea, the dark chocolate, ano pa ba? <laughs> uh, furry, also sugar. Okay, let's say pwede na yan. Then, just click go. Okay, so okay na yan. As you can see, nakalagay. 
you can see nakalagay dyan is one row inserted. So, insert pa tayo. So, ma'am, pwede pang huwag na maglagay ng number sa taas. Yes, pwede po. So, kung okay na tayo sa dark choco, meron naman tayong Okinawa. So, this is black tea. Okinawa powder. Sugar. And fur. Then, just click go. Ayan. So, as you can see, nakalagay inserted row ID 2. So, check tayo. Browse natin. Ayan. So, meron na tayong dark chocolate milk tea tsaka Okinawa. Okay, ma'am, pwedeng i-edit. Yes, pwedeng i-edit. So, as you can see, kinalik ko lang. Kasi, wala tong word na milk tea. So, okay. So, ayun lang. In-update ko lang. So, kundi na Okinawa siya. Ngayon, Okinawa milk tea siya. So, okay. Ayan yung ingredients. Date created dahil yan ay timestamp. So, ganun lang kadaling mag-create ng database. Okay?